All right, so guys, we're back with another video. This one is on some more challenging function questions. If you got your ACT back recently and you saw that you had functions, really some wrong, maybe like five out of 12 on functions, this is what question type they're talking about. So remember, this is that f of g of x skill. There are others, but this is the most common one. Well, let's take a look at these hard ones. This is number 53 from an ACT. What it's saying here is, oh, plug g of x into f, and that should equal zero. So that's what we'll do. Again, we're plugging g of x into f and setting that equal to zero. So I have x plus 3 squared minus 4. And again, I'm setting that equal to zero. There are a few different ways to solve this one, but I'll move the 4 over. I have x plus 3 squared equals 4. From here, square rooting both sides you will have, oopsies, you will have x plus 3 equals plus or minus 2. Again, what did I do there? I square rooted both sides. And now solve the two equations, really solve the positive 2 version and solve the negative 2 version. What's when you subtract 3 from both sides, you end up with x equals negative 5 and negative 1. The answer is A. Like I said, there's other ways to solve that quadratic, but this is probably the fastest way. If you have any questions on that, of course, leave them down below. But if not, let's come over here for this question. This question's a little bit worse. This question says f of g of x equals g of f of x. In other words, you plug this into f and you plug f into g and they should equal each other. Let's see. I have... I'm going to do the left side first. Again, doing the left side, I'm going to plug g of x in to f. So I have 2, 3x plus b plus 5 equals, now I'm doing the right side right here. What you should see is, oh, I'm plugging f into g. Again, f into g. So I have 3, 2x plus 5 plus b. When you distribute this, this is 6x plus 2b plus 5 equals 6x plus 15 plus b. Subtracting off the 6x's, subtracting this 5, you have b equals 10. 10 is your only answer. I have one more challenging function question down here, and it's probably my hardest one. At least, my students struggle in this one the most. In the top right, you should see something interesting. They've given you f of g of x. This is already f of g of x, right? And they're saying that g of x is this component here, really the x plus 1 component. Interesting. Well, if that's g of x, again, if this piece right here is g of x, which piece is f of x? That's the crux of this question. We need to find what f of x is. Well, again, if this is g of x, I think all the other stuff, really, I'll do it in red here. I think the cube root and the minus 2 is f of x. Really, it's going to be f of x equals cube root of x minus 2, or is it a plus 2? Yep, it's a minus 2. Now, that's f of x. Now, we're almost done. All we have to do is plug f of x into g, because that's what it wanted all along. Again, it wanted g of f of x, but it was essential that we first found f of, f of x. So let's take f of x and plug it into g. Again, let's take this big thing and plug it into g. Oh, that's not that bad. It's just going to be cube root of x minus 2 plus 1. Really, at the end of the day, that's cube root of x minus 1. That is our final answer. So that is probably the hardest one here. Of course, go back and pause and recap any of the questions that you wanted to try. But if you're good at these, if you can do these, you're really, really good at functions. In that case, I'll leave you guys alone and I'll see you guys on the next video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if these are helping you. And I will see you guys on the next one.